Hi everyone, Sarah here again today. Welcome back to my channel and I am sharing another layout with the Mercy Tierra Kit Club. Um, this is Celebrate and I am using the sketch from the newsletter today. Um, so I thought, you know, in the sketch it shows that little square behind the photo and I figured purple. I mean, I, I was gonna use that purple butterfly but just as a layer. And I'm gonna fussy cut this uh, camera out to use as an embellishment. It's bigger, I used the other camera that was already on one of the sticker sheets and everything, so I figured, hey, I'll use this one. I mean, I'm not honestly scrapbooking something like so fun or anything like that with this one. I am actually documenting my daughter having to go to the hospital. Um, we spent some good time in the ER um, just a couple months ago. It was not fun, do not like it, and still don't have a ton of answers, and that kind of sucks, but I guess that's kind of how hospitals go. Uh, here I am going to trace the circle with the, the largest hole on that, the farthest out. I'm gonna, I traced that so I could go ahead and cut it out by hand. I love that floral, but I didn't want, I wanted a layer behind it. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut this one out knowing that it's smaller and Freehand cutting it, obviously here. Um, honestly, it's just because I can't find my cutting tool that goes with that little thing. I mean, just being honest. Um, I decided I wanted something else behind it, so I'm gonna go ahead. I thought maybe, hey, I can trace another circle with this. No, because I did it on the largest one. Forgot about that at first. So I went ahead and hand drew it. So no, this is not going to be a perfect circle or anything like that, but I rough up my edges, so I guess it doesn't really matter. Um, it really looks horrible right there. <laughs> I am not good at freehanding in circles. Um, but here I'm going to go ahead and rough these up. I am going to rough the edge of this one up and go ahead and stick it behind my picture of my poor daughter there. She does not look happy, does she? She's sitting on a bed in the ER. We were th seriously there for so long. It was not fun. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and adhere my photo down and then, um, adhere the circles together so that I don't have to worry about those moving around too much. And I'm not gonna do stars on this because I really don't think stars went with this layout, um, you know, so I do something different. Here, I went ahead and grabbed some fun foam from my stash and went ahead and added some adhesive to that for um, my 3D um, area on my layout. It's just, I decided to pop that up, so that's why I went ahead and did that. Um, and I also decided that I wanted another layer behind my photo. And so I decided to pull a piece of the black cardstock out and go ahead and cut a square out of that and uh, mat my photo and the foam on top of it. Um, probably if I wouldn't have put the foam on, I would have put the, the black right behind it, but it doesn't bother me that it's like this. I just kind of went with it. I could have always peeled it off too and decided I, you know, I'm not gonna do that. Um, let's see, what am I doing next? Oh, I'm trying to figure out where I'm gonna stick this camera, it's gonna go down in the side, um, right where I put it, right there. And then I'm just gonna grab a bunch of my circle punches and I'm gonna start popping circles out. Um, and that's what I'm gonna use instead of using the stars because, I mean, again, a sketch is a jumping off part or a point and everything and you can use these sketches for anything. It doesn't have to be just happy memories. I know we all tend to scrapbook those but not so great days happen and stuff like that as well. And I think it's just as important that we scrapbook those. Um, so that's what I'm doing right here. I'm just kind of documenting something that happened in our, I mean, this was kind of just our everyday life. We were going about normal and then this happened. Um, but I really did like the sketch. So I went ahead and um, used it for this. So here I'm, I'm doing the diagonal kind of how it was in the sketch with the stars and stuff across the page diagonally. Um, I'm doing that, but I'm, like I said, doing it with the circles and I'll add more to it, but I kind of just pulled the colors that I'd already used on the page and uh, just, just pop those out and continue to use them. So, and I decided I wanted to stick that one underneath and, but I wanted that orange flower sticking out. So there was a little more color. Um, so I went ahead and flattened the other side out and stuck it back underneath. Um, and here I'm going to, you know, slide that one under as well. 
And I'm just going to add some uh, of the fun foam or whatever you call it um, down here on the edge of my camera that I'm going to put on the layout. Um, I'm only putting it on one side. Eventually, I will come back and put a small um, bit of it on the very bottom because I want it to stand up over the photo. Um, and I had already put one layer of foam behind the photo, so I figured two would make it stand up. So that's what I went ahead and did here. And then I'm going to go ahead and start um, adhering these circles down. The smaller ones I'm going to pop up. I'm going to add a little bit of fun foam behind those as well and go ahead and pop those up. I think every single one of these gets moved in some way, shape, or form when I'm putting them back. They don't ever just go right back to where I had them in the first place. That's okay. No big deal. Um, adding a little more fun foam and popping it up and moving on to the next one. Um, I really think I only pop up the small ones. I do. I only pop up the small ones on this. Um, and then I just go ahead and lift those up and add a little bit of glue underneath them. Just trying to keep things where they are. Every time I pick them up, like I said, they end up in a different place. I mean, not a huge deal. I'm not mad about it. It's all good. Um, <laughs> but I just noticed that as I'm watching this, that every time I put them down, they're, you know, they're moved just a little bit. They're never really where I'd had them originally. So it is what it is. Um, I finally decide I'm going to stick my large circle down and then continue on with my layout. I do tend to do this. I get towards the end of the layout and then I, uh, then I decide to stick the main pieces down. Um, I still got a little ways to go on this one though, but I'm going to go ahead and stick my photo and its mats down and then go ahead and adhere the camera down. I really do like that camera. It's cute. Um, and this is where I'm going to add that little bit, uh, double layer to the bottom of this camera so that it'll go ahead and stick up. Um, once I put this down on the layout and glue it, I'm going to go ahead and grab one of my circle punches and sit it on top. So it just has a little weight to it and it adheres down well, but I'm going to continue going on. I'm going to grab, um, one of the sticker sheets and I'm going to rub them off on my arm. Um, this is my title. This is what I use as my title. It is grateful and blessed. I love the gold and everything in this kit. It's beautiful. Um, but I I do like that. And I that's exactly how I felt that day. She ended up okay. And I got to bring my kiddo home. So that's all that mattered. Um, here I'm cutting the flower pot off of these florals. And I'm going to go ahead and tuck them underneath there. Um, and I'm going to do that to a couple different things. I'm going to cut another flower pot off there and tuck those. And like I said, I'll do, I'm going to throw that one apparently. Um, I'm going to cut the bottom off of this set of florals as well and tuck them, you know, right underneath there. And that's the large clusters I do. I'm pulling out a couple small ones, uh, a black one to go up top since there wasn't but the one little black circle, uh, added some leaves. And then I added a gold one down at the bottom by that black circle with a leaf as well. Um, but I thought that the layout was just, there's too much white. That's just me, especially, I don't know, I guess lately I've really been not doing a ton of white. Um, so what I'm doing is I'm going to go ahead and gut this teal colored paper that came in the cardstock kit. And I'm going to cut down the edges of my layout. And I'm going to go ahead and mat it on this teal paper. Um, I really do like the teal color. I know there's not a ton of it in the layout, but for me, that's okay. Um, it's not that big of a deal. And I think it kind of pops on the edges. So that's what I'm doing now. I'm going to go ahead and adhere that. And I realized I didn't cut all four sides down. Um, so I went ahead and made sure to do that. And I'm going to go ahead and add my adhesive. And uh, I don't know about anybody else. I always stick these on crooked. Is it just me? Or, I mean, I've seen people, it just looks like they stick it down perfect every time. I never do. Um, but I did go ahead and clean up some of my mess off my desk. So I had a little more space and, um, throwing my garbage away. And then I'm going to go ahead and adhere this down and then I'll rough up the edges like I normally do. And, um, I will go ahead and grab a ruler. Um, oh, I forgot. I stuck a little tape on the back of the camera so that it, the top part of the camera sat on my photo as well. Um, but I am going to reach up and grab a ruler not that one. Don't know why I grabbed it. I'll grab my T-square and I'm going to draw a couple lines on here and I'm going to add my journaling about kind of what happened that day. Not too many details or anything like that. Um, I do more of my detailed uh, journaling in other things or on the back of my layouts. But um, 
grab the wrong pin. I, I tend to, like, I grab the wrong ruler, grab the wrong pin, whatever. Um, <laughs> didn't make you watch all of me journaling. Um, and now I'm going to go ahead and grab my Prima metallic watercolors out. And I'm going to add some water to the black metallic and I'm going to splatter around my layout. And that will finish this layout for me. So I hope that you enjoy the way I use the sketch. I would love to see the way you use the sketch. If you do use it, make sure to join in um, the Mercy Tira Facebook group. So And just share it. We love having everybody part of the community. So um, it would be great to see. Um, if you liked this video, if you like my process, please remember to like and subscribe. Check out MercyTiraKits.com. And thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye.